The sex chromosomes are otherwise known as the X and Y chromosome, and those are the two chromosomes whose effects determine what gender you are, whether you're going to be male or whether you're going to be female. Let's take a quick look at this karyotype over here, and we can see here are the 46 kinds of chromosomes, or 46 chromosomes that you'll find in one human uh, cell. Down here, you can see the two X chromosomes. If you have those two X chromosomes, doesn't matter what's on these others, you're going to be a female. If you have an X and a Y, you're going to be a male. Now, what do we call all the other chromosomes? Those are called the autosomes. I've always thought it sounded kind of like a transformer. So, chromosomes 1 through 22 are the autosomal chromosomes. The X and Y chromosomes are the sex chromosomes. Now, this comes up in heredity because the sex-linked traits are the ones or genes that are located on the X chromosome. And what that does is it winds up violating Mendel's basic rules of heredity because instead of you getting two copies of every gene, if you're a woman, yes, you do because you have two copies of the X chromosome. But if you're a guy like me, I only have one copy of the X chromosome, which means that if I get a trait such as colorblindness or hemophilia, then I'm going to show it I don't have another X chromosome to possibly cover up its effects with a dominant version of that gene. There you go, the sex chromosomes.